So in today's video, we are going to talk about frequency distribution of ungrouped data. We are going to learn how to find the mean, the mode, median and range using frequency distribution. So frequency distribution is a table that gives or presents the number of times that each value in a data set occurs. And in this video, we are going to focus more on data that has not been classified or sorted into categories. So let's begin today's lesson by considering this example. So for example one, the ages of 21 students were recorded as follows. I complete the frequency distribution table. I, I find the mean, mode, median and range for this distribution. So here we have an incomplete frequency distribution table and we are to complete this table Afterwards, we have to find the mean, the mode, median, and range for this distribution. In this table, we have the ages of students, and then we also have the frequency, that is, the number of students with a particular age. So we have six students being nine years, we have seven students being 11 years, three students being 13 years, three students also being 15 years, and then two students being 17 years. Now, to complete this table, first of all, let's find the summation of f. So, the summation of f basically means that we are going to sum up all the frequency values. Now, 6 plus 7 is 13. 13 plus 3 is 16. 16 plus 3 is 19. And then 19 plus 2 is 21. So, the summation of f is 21. Now we have one column for the ages of students. We also have one for the frequency. So the third column is going to be occupied by fx. Now fx is basically f times x. So you want to multiply the age by the corresponding frequency. So let's do that together. So we have 9 times 6 which is 54. We have 11 times 7 which is 77 13 by 3 is 39 15 by 3 is 45 and then 17 by 2 is 34 now the sum of all these values is what we call the summation of fx now when you add all these values up we are going to get 249 so we've been able to complete the frequency distribution table for this distribution. Now let's move on and find the mean, the mode, median and range for this distribution. So let's start off with the mean. Let's find the mean. The mean is given by the formula summation of fx divided by summation of f. We have summation of fx and we have summation of f. So we are going to put in these values in this formula. Now summation of fx is 249 divided by summation of f, which is 21. Now when you do your division, you are going to get 11.8571. So the mean is equal to 11.86 in two decimal places now let's find the mode so the mode is the age that appeared most frequently now back to our table you realize that 11 appeared most frequently because we have seven occurrences so since 11 appeared the most number of times it follows that the mode is 11. Now let's find the median. Now the median is the middle number or the arithmetic mean of two middle numbers if you have the data set or the frequency to be an even number. Talking about the median, there are two ways that you can use to find the median. 
you can either use the traditional method that is where you write all the values and consider their respective frequencies or you can use the formula approach now in today's video we are going to use both methods to find the median now talking about the median if the data set or the frequency is an even number then we are going to use the formula 1 over 2 times n th plus 1 over 2 times n plus 1 all into bracket th all divided by 2 now if the data set or the frequency is an odd number then you are going to use the formula 1 over 2 times n plus 1 th now the th attached to each term means that we are considering the position of the value now from the position of the value we can derive the value itself now since the values in the data set was an odd number we are going to use this formula so the median is 1 over 2 times n plus 1 th so we have half times now in place of n we are going to write the value of the summation of f that is 21 so we have 21 plus 1 times th now 21 plus 1 is 22 so we have half times 22 th and then half of 22 is 11 so the median is the value in the 11th position now let's go back to the table now we have 9 appearing 6 times so 6 we have 11 appearing 7 times so 6 plus 7 is 13 note that age 9 starts from the first position to the sixth position followed by age 11 from the seventh position to the thirteenth position so between 7 and 13 we have the 11th position and then the 11th position correspond to age 11 so that means that the median is 11 now let's use the traditional method to find the median so we have 9 occurring 6 times we have 11 occurring 7 times we have 13 occurring 3 times We have 15 occurring 3 times and then we have 17 occurring 2 times. Now let's cancel out the ending values to find the middle number. So we cancel out 9, 17, 9, 17, 9, 15, 9, 15, 9, 15, 9, 13. 11 13 11 13 11 11 11 11 and then we have the middle number to be 11 which means that the median is indeed 11 now let's find the range so the range is the difference between the highest value and the lowest value in this case, the range is the difference between the highest age and the lowest age. So we have the highest age to be 17 and the lowest age to be 9. So 17 minus 9 is 8. So we have the range to be 8. Now let's take the second example. So for the second example, the table below shows the distribution of marks obtained by 30 students in an examination. So we have the marks obtained by the students and how many times each mark repeated itself. That is the frequency. 
Now we are going to find the mean, mode, median and range for this distribution. So first of all, let's find summation of f. So when you sum up all these values, you are going to get summation of f to be 30. Now let's find summation of fx. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 5 is 15. 4 times 4 is 16. 5 times 8 is 40. 6 times 5 is 30. 7 times 4 is 28. And then 8 times 1 is 8. So when you add up all these values, you are going to get 1, 4, 3. So the mean, which is summation of fx divided by summation of f, is equal to 1, 4, 3 divided by 30, which is equal to 4.7667. And to two decimal places, we have the mean to be 4.77. Now for the mode. So for the mode, we know that it is the value that occurs most frequently. Now you realize from the table that 5 occurs the most number of times, that is 8. So the mode is 5. So let's find the median. Now for this distribution, we have the sum of f to be 30, which is an even number. So it means that we are going to use the formula 1 over 2 times nth plus 1 over 2 times n plus 1 or th divided by 2. So what this basically means is that because you have an even number, we are going to have two middle numbers. So the median is the arithmetic mean of the two middle numbers. Now in place of n, we are going to substitute the value of summation of f, which is 30. So we have 1 over 2 times 30 th plus 1 over 2 times 30 plus 1 all into bracket th divided by 2. So half of 30 is 15. So we have 15 th plus half of 30 is 15 and then 15 plus 1 is 16. So 16 th divided by 2. So the median is basically the 15th value or the 15th mark plus the 16th mark divided by 2. Now let's come back to the distribution table. Now 2 repeats itself 3 times. So we have 3. Now 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. And then 12 plus 8 is 20. So we can stop here. Now we are looking for the 15th value and the 16th value. Now 4 ends on the 12th value and then 5 starts from the 13th value to the 20th value. So in between the 13th value and the 20th value, we have the 15th value and the 16th value. So it follows that both the 15th and the 16th values are 5. So this is equal to 5 plus 5 divided by 2 which is 10 divided by 2 5 so it means that we have our median to be 5 now you can confirm your answer using the traditional method now let's find the range so the range is going to be the difference between the highest mark and the lowest mark the highest mark is 8, the lowest mark is 2. So we have 8 minus 2, which is 6. So we have the range 
to be 6. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.